Good evening, boys and girls. You have now made it to Chapter 11, Lesson 11.1, Polygons. Our essential question is how can you identify and classify polygons? Please turn in your GoMath book to Lesson 11.1. For this lesson, we're going to decide what is a regular polygon and what is not a regular polygon. The definition of a regular polygon is that it must have all same angles and all equal sides. So let's take a look at this triangle right here. You can see that all of the angles are acute to the same degrees and all the lengths are the same sides. Therefore, this would be called a regular polygon. Same with this hexagon right here. Can you see how all my angles are obtuse angles? They're greater than 90 degrees and they're all the same degrees. As well as all the lengths on each side is the same. So we would call this a regular hexagon. Let's take a look at the square, the basic square that you learned way back in kindergarten. It is a regular quadrilateral. It's a square. All of my angles are exactly the same. They're 90 degrees, also known as right angles. And all of my sides are the exact same length. So it is regular. Now let's take a look at some not regular polygons. Now this polygon right here is called a isosceles triangle. Two lengths are the exact same, but the bottom length is longer. Because it does not have all equal sides, it's not a regular polygon. Let's look at this right triangle. And I know that this is not a regular polygon as well, because all my sides are not the same length and all the angles are not the same. Because we have a right angle here, but we have acute angles there. And let's look at the rectangle. Many people think that the rectangle is a regular polygon because we've seen it since kindergarten. However, the definition of a true regular polygon is that all the sides must be the same length and all the angles must be the same. Here we have four right angles, but all my sides are not congruent. So therefore, it's not a regular polygon. Here are some names of the different polygons that I'm sure you're wondering what all the names are. So I found this picture to show you. So you have a library of names in case you ever need to refer back to them. Here's the equilateral triangle. It is regular because all the angles are exactly the congruent and they're all the same length sides. We know what the square looks like. The pentagon has five obtuse angles and it has all the same length sides. You've already seen the regular hexagon. Now a seven-sided polygon is called a heptagon. I'm going to go ahead and underline that right there. Let's look at the eight-sided polygon. This is also familiar to many of you. This is an octagon. As you can see, it's regular because all of these are obtuse angles at the same degrees and all my lengths are the same. Now let's look at the nonagon. A nonagon is a nine-sided polygon. We rarely see this polygon out and about, and that's why we hardly ever talk about this one, but it is called the nonagon. The decagon is easy to remember because deca means 10. So that's a good way to remember the decagon. Again, you can see this is regular because it has all obtuse angles that are the same, and all my lengths of my sides are the same. That is the decagon. The 12 sided polygon that's regular is a dodecagon. It almost resembles a circle, but if you look closely, you can see that you have obtuse angles that are very, very large. And so it almost looks like a circle, but it's not. You can actually see the different sides there, and they're all the same length. Please refer back to this page whenever you need it to help you remember the different names of the regular shapes. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to be finding these different questions in your book, and I'm sure you're, this will be a very easy lesson for you. So I want you to go through, and I want you to do the different questions, and then check them here to see if you are correct. Go ahead and start with question two. Press pause. For question two, you should have said regular, because you have all same angles and all same length sides. These symbols are what shows you what means the same length. They're all congruent to each other and this is all the right angle measurement. 
and this shape is called the square because it's just turned slightly on its side. So please make sure that you write down that this is a square. All right, go ahead and write down what you think number three should be, regular or not regular. Okay, you should be writing not regular because as you can see, all my corners, all the angles are all right angles. However, my sides are not congruent. The top two are congruent, these sides are congruent, and this portion right here is congruent, but this length right here is not congruent to that length, nor is it congruent to every other length, so it's not regular. Now what is this shape called? Make sure you count up all the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you should know what an eight-sided polygon is. You should be right now writing down that it's an octagon because it has eight line segments and eight angles. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, for number four, please write down what you think, regular or not regular. You should be writing regular because all my angles are obtuse and all the lengths on each side is the same length. They're all congruent. And what should we call this? Go ahead and count up all your sides. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So a six-sided polygon. Do you know what it's called? You should be writing down on your book a hexagon. All right, let's go on. Okay, for number five, you should have circled regular because all of my angles are all acute. That's and this angle right here shows, this picture shows that they all have the same degrees of angles and all my lengths are the same. They're all labeled with one mark, which means that they're all the same size. And we would call this a triangle, also known as an equilateral triangle because they're all equal sides. But let's go ahead and just write down triangle because it's in the triangle family. All right, let's go on. All right, for number six, go ahead and write down what you think, regular or not regular. All right, you should be writing down not regular. All right, as you can see, you can tell that the angles are not the same. This symbol right here shows that these two are congruent angles, but look right here, they made a double line right here to show this is congruent with this angle. All right, and as you can see, this line segment is congruent with that line segment, and these two are both congruent but they're not all the same on all of my different sides. All right. And speaking of sides, go ahead and count them all up to see how many sides we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. What's a five-sided polygon called? You should be right now writing down in your book, it's a pentagon. All right, for question number seven, it says sketch nine points, then connect the points to form a closed plane figure. What kind of polygon did you draw? All right, go ahead and press pause and make not nine dots and then connect each of the dots and count up all your sides to see what kind of figure you drew. Go ahead and press pause now. Okay, my polygon might look different than your polygon, but you needed to have nine dots in any order and you needed to make sure that you had nine different sides. And of course you can tell with mine that is definitely not a regular polygon. I'm going to write not regular. Now, if it asks for what kind of polygon did you draw, because there's nine different angles and nine different sides. We talked about this on my first few slides. This is called a nonagon. Remember, the only way for it to be a regular nonagon is you have to have exactly the same length sides and all the same angles. Because you're doing this freehand, it's very hard to do that. That's why most of ours will be not regular. Okay, for number eight, it says sketch seven points, then connect the points to form a closed plane figure. What kind of polygon did you draw? You may want to refer back to that first slide that I showed you with all those different regular polygons on it so you'll remember the name of this polygon but go ahead and press pause and create your masterpiece and then we'll talk about what we call it go ahead and press pause now okay here's the one that I created as you can see I have seven different points and I have seven different sides and a seven-sided figure is called a heptagon 
and this is not regular because all my angles are not the same and all my sides are not the same length. Yours probably looks way different than mine, but that's okay. This is a free draw. Okay, here are your two questions for homework tonight that are like the lesson. Number one is which of the following is a regular pentagon? And number two, which of the following is not a regular polygon? Go ahead and do questions three through six as well for review. And of course, don't forget to rate yourself on how you feel about regular and not regular polygons at the top of this page. All right, here are your questions again. Go ahead and answer them carefully, and we will check them tomorrow. Have a great night.